Today, I'm going to show you how to create a moon. And obviously, you could draw a moon hundreds of different ways. But this is one way that I'm going to walk you through the steps. The first thing you need is something circular. This is a circle. This is circle. This is even a circle, right? And this is a circle. Lots of things are circles. I just need one thing. So I'm just going to use my salt container here. I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to hold down my circle, no matter what it is. Hold it down with one hand and then the other hand, hold your pencil straight up and down like it's standing up on its legs and move it in a circle as straight up and down as you can all the way around. It is okay to stop and pick up the pencil and keep going. Do not move the circle you are tracing. Try to keep it as still as possible. And there you go. You will have a circle on your paper. I'm going to create two. And in the end, I can choose which one I like the best. If I wanted to, I could even make three or four on this paper, but I think two is enough for my example. Holding your circular object very still, you are drawing a circle around the outside or the perimeter. Now I have two perfect circles. For the next step, you're going to need markers. We know that the moon has craters. Craters are the shapes of circles. What's happening here? My circle is going off the circle. You see that? Or my circle is going off the edge. For this circle, maybe I will make my circles in gray and I will learn which one I like the best. Oh, my gray marker is not very good. That's okay. I also have yellow. I can use yellow for my circle so it looks like my sun is reflecting and shining off of the moon. The moon does not give off light, but sometimes the moon kind of lights up from the sun. I can add yellow to this one as well. For this one, instead of using straight lines, I'm going to use curly lines. I'm hoping this gives my moon a very interesting texture. See how my lines are curly? I have used black, gray, and yellow and created the surface of the moon. Now, this is where our science experiment comes into play. If you have a squirt bottle, good. If you don't, just use a cup of water and your fingers, and you can dip your fingers in the water and spray your paper like this, okay? Do not pour it. That is too much water. You can take your fingers and spray it like this. Or if you have a squirt bottle with water in it, you can spray it like this. Do you see what's happening to my colors and to my moon? These are watercolors, so the colors are blending together. Now, don't add too much water, but it's also fun to take a tiny, tiny bit of salt and sprinkle it on your moon. After you have sprayed the water, 
and added the salt, you need to stop and let the paper dry. What is happening is the marker is mixing with the water. These are washable markers, right? And the colors are blending together because of the water. Then what we did is we added salt. Salt absorbs, which means it kind of sucks up the water and the moisture, and it will create a very interesting look on your moons. This is a fun way that artists can use texture as an element to make their art more interesting. The markers, the water, and the salt are creating the textures on our moon's surface. I'll say this again. You need to stop the video and allow your moon time to dry before cutting it out. Let it dry. After allowing time for your sciency art project to dry, do you notice what happened to my marker lines? Isn't that interesting? The water made the colors spread and the salt absorbed the water and you're left with a very interesting texture. In order to really see it clearly, you need to remove the salt. Now make sure it's dry before you wipe the salt off. And obviously clean up your mess so your parents don't get upset. But check out those little dots that the salt left. That texture is perfect for our moon's surface. So remember those pencil lines that you made? Now it's time to cut it out. Follow your line carefully. Don't go too fast. Remember, you just pinch your scissors a little bit at a time. No need to make fast cuts. Go nice and slow. And there you go. There's my moons. Wow, they're both beautiful. I love all the spots on this one and the textures around the edge. But this one, see this one has more of the little circles that I see here in the real moon. So I think I will use this one as my final. We know that our Earth only has one moon, so I will save this, and next time we will make stars and a rocket and complete our projects.